In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to connect your site to Google Analytics. Let's get started by heading over to your preferred web browser and navigating to Google. If you're not logged in yet, you'll want to look for the sign in button. It should be prominently displayed on the upper right hand side of your screen. Once you click sign in, the next step is to choose your Google account from the list of available accounts. If your account isn't listed, you can just manually enter your email followed by your password. Remember, keeping your password secure is important, so make sure it's something strong and unique. After you've successfully signed in, locate the Google Apps menu. You'll find this again in the top right corner of the page, symbolized by a grid of small squares. Click on it and a drop down menu will appear. It's here that you need to scroll through the different apps until you find Google Analytics. When you see it, go ahead and give it a click. From here, you'll be directed to the Google Analytics interface. Once you're there, look towards the bottom left of the page where you'll see an option labeled admin. Click on this. Now, in the admin section, direct your attention to the top left and click on create. This is a crucial step as you are going to set up what Google calls a property. The term property in Google Analytics essentially means the data set for your website or app. So now you can start by adding the necessary information such as the property name, time zone and currency. Choose these options carefully as they will influence your reports. After filling in these details, hit next. Moving on, you'll be prompted to add an industry category. Be as specific as possible here, as it helps Google Analytics to generate detailed and relevant benchmarks for your site. Following that, provide information regarding the business size. This might be a rough estimation, but it does help with report customization. Once done, proceed with another click on next. Now it's time to add the business objectives. Specify what you intend to accomplish with Google Analytics. These objectives could range from increasing traffic to driving more sales. After setting these goals, click create. You'll be presented with the option to choose a platform, whether you are working with a website, an app, or both. If you're not ready to decide, you can skip this section. Finally, to wrap up the setup process, click on continue to home. And there you have it, your site is now connected to Google Analytics. This integration will allow you to gain powerful insights into your site's performance, helping you make informed decisions to boost your online presence. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful guides.